start tonight with the latest on the deadly house explosion just north of Allendale in southern Illinois. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Hope you're doing well. I'm Ryan Wittry. Wabash County Sheriff Derek Morgan says one of the people in the home, 66-year-old Kevin Murphy, has died. His wife Sue is in a Louisville hospital. Last night, neighbors rushed into the burning home trying to save the couple. Eyewitness News and Paul has a story. I want to go through again or, or see. Terry Brown felt the explosion at his own home. Uh, I was grilling and grabbed my wife. I was inside the house, felt the explosion from inside my house, and uh, I felt it in my chest even. That's how big the explosion was. Today, Brown is reflecting on the night. From around here, we live far, you know, probably a quarter miles, the closest neighbor, and uh, everybody was there. It was immediately. I was shocked on how many people was there and how many neighbors uh, was there so quick and so fast. Within seconds of the blast, Brown and his neighbors were on their way to the home and ran inside, searching for the couple, Kevin and Sue Murphy. Running down and as fast as we could to uh, go and assist and help and do anything that we could do. Three other guys helped helped myself and uh, um, carry carry the gentleman out of rebel and. Uh, away from the burning house. A few minutes later, firefighters arrived and found the home engulfed in flames. Neighbors say Sue jumped into the pool behind the house to escape the blaze. She was flown to a burn unit in Louisville for treatment. And her condition is not known at this time. Her husband, Kevin, passed away from his injuries earlier this morning. You know, it's never, never good to hear tragedy, especially that close to home. Although Brown says he had never met all of his neighbors, he says they are family. Everybody's family, you know, that's why you got to treat each other. We'll be praying for the family and, uh, and keep them in our, in our thoughts. The investigation into what caused the explosion is ongoing. In Wabash County, Illinois, Ann Powell, Eyewitness News.